So obviously, Ye has been a lot more private as of recent. We haven't seen him popping up on social media and he's been very rare with public appearances. Well, recently he popped back up on IG once again with a caption reading, this is Ye driving down the same street Kobe passed on. Maybe I feel that Mamba spirit right now. To Casper, I'm not standing for this blatant copying no more. To all sneaker culture, to every ball player, rapper, or even if you work at the store. This is for everyone who wants to express themselves but feel they can't because they'll lose their contract or be called crazy. Bravery is not being afraid. Bravery is overcoming your fear for the, your truth. This is Ye with the blue paint on my face. These shoes represent the disrespect that people in power have to the talent. This shoe is a fake Yeezy made by Adidas themselves. I'm not talking to DC about this either. Casper, come talk to me. Happy Monday. Now, he's referring to the new uh, Adelite 22 slide, which obviously most definitely is inspired by the Yeezy slide. Now, this wouldn't be the first time we've seen Adidas do something of this nature. If you guys recall the Adidas tubular, obviously inspired to be a more affordable alternative a version of the 350 v1 you even have a high top version most definitely was made to look like the 750 so brands do this from time to time we see all the big players nike jordan brand doing the same thing and what they're really trying to do is capitalize the hype of their more popular models bringing consumers in then giving them a more affordable alternative version due to the fact that a lot of these hype releases are more limited. So I can't really knock Adidas for doing this, but they got to pay some respect to the man, yay. So let's go ahead and check these joints out. Do the new Adelite 22 slides live up to the hype or are they just a blatant easy rip off? Let's go ahead and check these joints out. The box, you got the classic three stripes Brandon, little Adidas hit right there. This reminds me of the 450 box. So got these in a size 11. Colorway is Magic Lime. Let's go ahead and check these joints out together, y'all. Okay, okay. So real quick, y'all, get in the comments and drop your first impressions on the new Adelite 2022 slide. Um, Gotta say these joints are interesting. Um, the look is supposed to be inspired by 3D topography, um, but these joints <laughs> look like the Minecraft slides. Here on the side, you have some lettering, the brand with the three stripes. You got a little Adidas hit on the heel. These joints are definitely interesting on the bottom, kind of look like Moon Crater, so. I'm digging the natural look. When comparing them to Yeezy slides, though, I would say it's a completely different experience. Although the look is there, the sizing and comfort is completely different. In terms of sizing, remember, I picked these up in a size 11. When comparing them to the Yeezy slide, these definitely, I would say, run a little big, but more true to size. So you can actually get these in your proper size. Now, once you get them on feet, the comfort is a completely different experience. One of the highlights of the Yeezy brand is that they are some of the most comfortable footwear models on the market. And when comparing them, it's night and day. These have more of like a tough, harder rubber feel to them versus the Yeezy slide. When you put them on, you feel that cushion. They're real soft, your feet press into them. Elite level of comfort versus this is just kind of like your standard slide. You just put your foot on and uh, you kind of go. So. Price point difference, $55 versus your Yeezy slide, which retails at $70. And I do happen to have my Yeezy slides, which I always keep on feet. So you guys can kind of compare the two. As you see, these are a lot bigger versus your Yeezy slide. So are the new Adelite 2022 slides a blatant ripoff of the Yeezy slide? Um, I mean, that's some harsh words to say. You know, I would say definitely inspired by the Yeezy slide. The colorways though, you could probably say they are ripping off the slides, but then again, it's just a colorway. One thing though, I would have to say that these have garnered a lot of attention, you know, almost becoming like a hype release. Um, there is resale value 
on these, believe it or not, and I've seen a lot of attention, you know, towards this slide on social media. And I believe that all of the hype, all of the attention brought towards this slide is simply due to the fact that they do definitely resemble the Yeezy slide. And if it wasn't for the Yeezy slide, I feel like there wouldn't really be a huge market or a lot of hype for this particular slide. So once again, you know, our guy Kanye, he might be onto something. You know, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's a blatant ripoff, but as a creator, if you don't voice your opinion, you'll never be heard. So can't knock the man for expressing himself. Now, Ye did originally sign with Adidas, I believe end of 2015. So his 10 year partnership should be coming to an end in 2026. So what are your thoughts? Do you feel like Ye will re-up with Adidas? If y'all recall, in the past, he has had some conflicts and he wanted to be a part of the board. And he definitely has reason behind that. So do you feel like Ye will re-up his contract with Adidas, do you see him walking, possibly going to another company, or as a billionaire now, do you see him just going on his complete own venture, making his own footwear and apparel by himself? What are your guys' thoughts about the future of the Yeezy footwear brand? It's a very interesting topic, and if you love Kanye or not, he's got people talking, this is a provocative subject so drop your opinions down below guys we're gonna wrap it up adidas adelite 2022 slide cop or a drop for you or a blatant easy ripoff salute to each and every one of you guys for tuning in i'm ja stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all